Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Selamat siang semuanya. Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. Welcome to another episode of IPMI Power Talk. Elevate your career growth with LinkedIn, encouraging individuals to take ownership of career developments. Today, Wednesday, the 28th of June, 2023. Pleased to meet you, everyone. My name is Putri Fadila, and I will be the MC and moderator for today's event. Power Talk is a monthly event at IPMI where we showcase digital business knowledge and an entrepreneurial mindset from experts and influencers. And correlating with the topic today, uh, as we all know, in this digital age, LinkedIn has become the unrivaled platforms for professionals from diverse background to connect, collaborate, and advance their career. That is why in this Power Talk, we invited our expert from LinkedIn to uncover how to manage and shape your professional growth through LinkedIn so that you can have a better chance of achieving your career goals and prepared for changes in the job market. Um, just a little bit intermezzo, but for all the audiences here, may I know maybe one person to help me answer this question. What is your expectation of today's Power Talk? Anyone help answer? Like, why do you come to this Power Talk? What is your expectation from listening uh, from our expert? Anyone? Or maybe one hour of our student here? Would you like to answer? Maybe for improve our knowledge. Thank you. Anyone here? Anyone else would like to uh, answer why, what do you expect to get from this discussion later? Maybe Miss Leah? Yes. Okay, it's very, uh, very interesting, but then I'm curious about how LinkedIn will elevate our career growth sesuai dengan uh, judulnya, so it's very uh, wondering to find out. All right, thank you, Miss Leah. Okay, then, uh, without further ado, before we come to our main agenda, we would like to welcome the Rector of IPMI International Business School, Professor Insinyur M. Aman Wirakarta Kusuma, MSc PhD, to deliver his opening remarks as well as to officially open the IPMI Power Talk. May I have your may I have you on the floor, Prof. Aman. Hello. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll be in the screen, not the floor yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, on the Zoom. Okay, Putri. Uh, I think uh, uh, the friends and ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good morning, or evening, wherever you are. And a warm welcome to all of you, which this event gives me a great pleasure and honor to be here today to initiate this highly anticipated webinar on Elevate Your Career Growth with LinkedIn, encouraging individuals to take ownership of career development. And thank you very much to Ms. Linda Wijaya, the Senior Enterprise Account Executive LinkedIn Talent Solutions Indonesia Market as our speaker of IPMI Power Talk to spare your very precious experience and knowledge about LinkedIn despite your very tight schedule. In a rapidly evolving professional landscape where career growth and development are paramount, it is crucial to seize every opportunity to enhance our skills and broaden our horizons. Today, we have gathered here to explore the tremendous potential that LinkedIn offers in navigating the ever-changing career landscape and empowering us to take charge of our professional journeys. 
LinkedIn, the world's largest professional network, has revolutionized how individuals connect, collaborate, and present themselves in the digital world with over 774 million members spanning across industries and continents. It has become an indispensable tool for professional striving to unlock their career potential. During this webinar, we will delve into key strategies and best practices for leveraging LinkedIn to elevate your career growth. Our distinguished panel of experts who have demonstrated excellence in their respective, field, respective fields will share valuable insight and personal experience on how they harness LinkedIn to their advantage. We will explore various topics throughout the sessions, including optimizing your LinkedIn profile to stand out from the crowd, utilizing the platform's networking and capabilities to build meaningful connections, leveraging LinkedIn job search features to uncover you new opportunities and tapping into the vast resources available to upskill and stay relevant in today's fast-paced world. Moreover, we will address the importance of taking ownership of your career development in an era where individuals are expected to be proactive, adaptable, and continuously learning. LinkedIn provides an array of tools and resources to empower you to drive your professional growth. By the end of the, this webinar, you will gain practical tips and actionable insight to propel, to propel your career forward and reach new heights. I encourage all of you to actively participate in the, in the discussion, ask questions, and share your experience throughout the webinar. The interactive nature of this session will foster a collaborative environment for knowledge sharing, enabling us all to learn from one another. Once again, I extend my heartfelt Welcome to every one of you. I hope this webinar proves to be enlightening and inspiring, helping you unlock the full potential of LinkedIn and propel your career to new heights. Thank you, and let's embark on this exciting journey together. Thank you, Professor Amar, for your welcoming remarks. Okay. You're welcome. Now Okay, to our main agenda, we will wel welcome Ms. Lani Wijaya to come to the seat that we have prepared for you. Okay, allow me to share a little bit about Ms. Lani Wijaya. She is currently the Senior Enterprise Account Executive from LinkedIn Talent Solutions in Indonesian market. And she has impressive LinkedIn profile you would want to look into. She is experienced in sales and marketing, and she finished her bachelor degree from information system from the University of Melbourne in 2010. And with more than 15 years experience in recruitment, consultant, technology, and startup companies, she enhanced and sharpening her, her skills, such as leadership, business development, coaching, solution selling, and strategic thinking. And in this presentation, she will share her insight and stories, providing you knowledge and inspiration regarding with LinkedIn. And we encourage you to please actively ask questions. We do not want you to passively absorbing information only because this If Me Power Talk, we created an inter interactive platform for you to connect with experts that can broaden your horizon and gain insightful information. Ms. Lenny, thank you for coming to this session. Um, Hello, Mbak yeah. Putri. Yeah, thank you Hello. so much uh, for inviting me and uh, thank you, Professor uh, Aman, for the uh, amazing remarks opening. And hi, everyone. Uh, super happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay, uh, maybe we can first start with your presentation about the take ownership of the uh, career development from LinkedIn. Okay, okay. sure. So uh, let me start then. <laughs> let me just stand <laughs> so I can see uh, everyone here. 
Uh, so yeah, so before I start, so maybe I would like to ask a few questions uh, here and also in the Zoom. Uh, so for, for those of you who has LinkedIn profile, maybe you can raise your hands. Oh yeah, yeah, the Zoom semua. <laughs> maybe the Zoom one you can uh, put a reaction, you know. Oh, impression, uh, impressive. So I think uh, all of you have the the LinkedIn profile. So maybe in this session, we will talk about more how we can leverage and um, uh, apa, uh, use, yeah? So we can get the utmost results using the platform. Okay, so uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Lani Wijaya. So I work at LinkedIn uh, in Singapore, based in Singapore. But uh, a little bit more about me, uh, I'm Indonesian. Uh, I, I, I was born in Jakarta, uh, but when I was 12 years old, I moved to Singapore, right? So uh, Indonesian, uh, my Indonesian is still okay, but not uh, great. <laughs> so, but that, thank God that this session is in English, right? <laughs> okay, so um, before LinkedIn, uh, I work as a recruitment consultant, talent acquisition, and also headhunter for six years. Right, so six years and at LinkedIn already nine years. So uh, I help companies in uh, in LinkedIn. My my work is I help companies to leverage uh, LinkedIn platform for their to solve their uh, three main issues. One is to attract uh, and hire the best talent, uh, one and two, sorry. And the third is to retain their best talent, yeah, using LinkedIn platform. So that's what I do uh, daily. Uh, so, yeah, so at LinkedIn, uh, since the session is about how we can maximize the platform, so I want to share more about our ambition as a platform itself, as a company. Also, this is uh, the testament of why I'm still at LinkedIn very passionate after nine years and ongoing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we want to be uh, the world most efficient and equitable talent marketplace, right? So di mana, uh, sorry, where the platform uh, for skills development and career growth. Yeah, so we want to make sure that every single uh, individual on the world in the world that on LinkedIn can excel in their career and can contribute to the society. And eventually we want to make sure that uh, the world could be a better place for every one of us. Yeah, so that is the purpose of LinkedIn, the ambition and the mission, which uh, allows me to keep going and always uh, passionate about the platform. So uh, LinkedIn, as uh, just now, uh, Prof. Aman mentioned is the largest uh, global professional network in the world, right? So we have uh, 930 million professionals right now on, the, uh, on LinkedIn. And in Indonesia, we have 23 million members, right? So imagine the talent marketplace just now when I mentioned, right? We want to uh, connect, you know, uh, people, members to opportunity. So if you just want to remember what is LinkedIn, we connect to opportunity, right? So what op opportunity can be many things. So it can be uh, job opportunity, can be mentorship, coaching opportunity, and also can be um, investor, right? You can attract investor to your uh, business. So it could be anything. So we want to connect that dots, right? And uh, Later on, I will share in details the audience uh, on LinkedIn is uh, the detail of the audience on, on LinkedIn uh, at a later stage. Okay, so right now, uh, because that our true north, uh, our true north is actually to help people, right? To help human uh, human society. So therefore, we take really seriously about our data quality. Right, so um, a lot of um, organizations, uh, World Economic Forum, or and such, um, mention LinkedIn is the most comprehensive and trusted uh, source of skills data in the market. Right, so because we verified, 
Okay, so we, we employ not only uh, technology, AI, and uh, amazing system, but we also employ taxonomists and linguists to check each of the truth, the data, the skills that anyone put on LinkedIn. The second one is global, right? Uh, because we can understand the world um, talent landscape, the profile landscape, right? So we can see the every detail trends, global trends in terms of uh, job uh, positioning or skills that evolving in the market. And the third one is very dynamic, right? So the data is uh, real time and we uh, definitely uh, update it every 24 hours. Yeah, so this is uh, where is the backbone of LinkedIn. Yeah, so again, um, I want to share as well why that we are also always voted number one is because we we provide the platform we provide the uh, platform for professional to voice out their uh, their professional brand their knowledge their skills and uh, ultimately we want to make sure that the platform is safe that's why um, we voted number one by business insider so in Southeast Asia, so closer to home, right? Uh, LinkedIn also is the most trustworthy platform, yeah, uh, against other social media platform, okay? Southeast Asia. And uh, I want to share a little bit more about the audiences on LinkedIn because uh, if we don't know who is our um, audience on the platform, there's no, it's hard to define our why right, why you use the platform, right? So every platform or any apps we are living in the technology world, uh, definitely every apps have a use case, right? So the use case, you need to know what is it for, okay? So uh, for example, if it's if take a look at the Southeast Asia landscape, right? Uh, so the industry, we can see the industry trends, right? So the top industries that are increasing year on year the most, is software and IT services, corporate services, and finance. So what's in it for you here is if you're looking for a job or expanding your career in specific industry, then using this data, you know what are the most top uh, growing industries. Okay, oh, sorry. Right, so if you're taking a look at the startup scene, right, uh, I know that uh, it's, winter time but i feel that uh, looking at the data it's spring coming up <laughs> winter is almost over right uh, so but this is the data that we see like job posting email messaging so they're big, big uh, already more active in the startup space okay so what are the industry in startup we also can see and uh, southeast asia so imagine that um you can have opportunity beyond Indonesia, right? Uh, definitely, you can uh, understand where is the opportunity is by looking at this data, right? Consumer goods industry is the most um, highest, maybe because as the number of uh, of increasing uh, affluent uh, populations in Asia or Indonesia, because Southeast Asia, Indonesia is part of Southeast Asia and 50% of the members is, uh, on LinkedIn is Indonesia. Okay, so the, uh, sorry, Nuda. Okay, so we also can see their behavior. Where is these people uh, or our LinkedIn members are um, following who? who, which of the company that they're following? So you can see uh, in Southeast Asia, 50% of member of Southeast Asia is Indonesian. Yeah, they're following uh, Unilever, uh, Shopee, right? And then uh, technology and manufacturing industry as the most uh, followed industries. So these are the companies that if you're looking for jobs or if you want to build uh, businesses, these are the companies that you want to reach out to. Okay, so a little bit more about uh, Indonesian audience. Uh, so... 
in terms of top industries, so you can see IT, uh, banking, higher education. Uh, it means higher education. So oil and gas and financial industry services is the top uh, five. And then uh, top company sizes is all sizes. Even the UMKM, right? One man, uh, one man shop. They also have a presence on LinkedIn, right? So and from NGO and to the big MNC. Then uh, these are the type of uh, positions if you're wondering, right? So they from operations, business development to accounting. Yeah. So all different functions and the seniority right so linkedin now in indonesia has uh, 25 23 million the 30 percent is actually uh the students and fresh graduates yeah so it's about seven million okay because in uh just now we men mentioned Mbak Putri mentioned too uh also that uh the digital transformations is uh, we're living in the, this era where uh, people are already tech savvy, right? So they definitely have uh, known easily, okay, LinkedIn is for professional, TikTok is for this, uh, and other social media platform is for what? Yeah. Okay. And then the question is how uh, to be competitive, right, in this complex and unpredict unpredictable macroeconomics. Okay, so that means like having a profile itself, not enough. Everybody has a profile, right? How to be different, differentiate, how to leverage your network, how to uh, um, definitely grasp the opportunity fast that will differentiate you from other. Okay, so maybe I can share a little bit more about uh, my career, right? So in this, um, especially in this market, there's a lot of different people moving from different industry to industry A because of the COVID pandemic. But uh, my experience itself is not linear, right? When I graduated, uh, I was in IT, <laughs> right? So, but I wasn't good in programming, so I ditched that role, and uh, yeah, I become recruiter, right? From IT to recruiter to sales <laughs> the LinkedIn, right? So it's definitely up and down. So LinkedIn is my sixth company. So I moved so many companies, one year, one year, one year. And finally I found uh, my so-called dream jobs in LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, so definitely uh, every at any point in our lives, we have this uh, journey, right? Where we need to pivot, you know? So it's okay, it's okay, it's exciting. Right, that from then you can learn. Oh, actually, you really wants to. Uh, you like this specific role, then you uh, deep into deep dive into it, right? So, what I learned from my journey, fifteen to sixteen years of uh, my career, is honing on my transferable skills, right? So, from uh, from recruitment. Uh, to sales is actually the same skills. I need to meet people, I need to convince them, I need to sell them the job. Right? It's the sales role, right? Nah. So if we take a look at the data itself, right? Um, so LinkedIn, like I mentioned to you, is the backbone, is the data, right? We can see the trends. So the last five years, according to this slide, right? Uh, last five years, there's there's a movement of 20% in one skill, uh, sorry, in one role, right? So let's say your role is uh, accountants. So as an uh, as accountant, 20% uh, of the total of your skills to be accountant are really changing the last five years. So the, in the prediction towards five years uh, in the future, we see that there will be a rise of 40% half right so uh if you have read the world economic forum uh, report, uh job report 2023 is just released right so it's a, they also indicate that uh the job that going to be replaced is about uh, 80 or 90 million jobs right so that's huge um so the, for for this slide is 
data from LinkedIn. Okay. So the skills that we possess today may not be the skills that you need in the future. So it's so important to instill a learning mindset. Yeah. And for example, in uh, uh, this is the data science, right? So for the data science role, kita, from here we can see the, the supply and demand gap, right? So in order to, if we look into data scientists on LinkedIn in Indonesia, the title, yeah, data scientist, it's not a lot, right? It's less than 10,000-ish, right? And But every company is hiring data scientists, okay? So what can we do, right? If you want to be a data scientist or if you are hiring for data scientists, then we can break down. In data scientists, what are the roles? Uh, sorry, what are the skills that required to be data scientists, right? So apparently there's four uh, main or uh, five skills uh, under a right hand side yeah so those are the skills that needed to be data scientists and we can learn those skills if you want to be a data scientist right so every role there is a path towards okay and uh and the world economic forum also mentioned apart from hard skill yeah soft skill or power skill is equally important okay so if you take a look at this top and skills here, you, you won't see any hard skills, right? You won't see any uh, function even. It's, we call this power skill, yeah? So these are the transferable skills. This is where can help you uh, beyond and ahead, okay? So what's going on with skills and LinkedIn, you know? How is it rele relevant? Right, maybe probably you're wondering. Uh, so basically, as I mentioned earlier, everybody on LinkedIn, right? Just now everybody raised hands. Um, so what makes you different, right? What makes you special, okay? So what makes you different, what makes you special is you, how you connect, how you network, how you build your skills, how you be different, okay? So I just want to uh, say that first because some people uh, may you know, may just think if I'm on LinkedIn, I'll get a job, <laughs> right? Without doing anything. So that, that is a myth, yeah? <laughs> then we, we can't believe in that. Okay, don't believe in that, yeah? But building network is a journey. It's a journey. So, and we have to set our mindset also. Yeah, it's not instant. Like, oh, tomorrow I want to be 1 million follower. Yeah, cannot. <laughs> honest but it's a journey then every journey you can enjoy uh, the wins the small wins okay and uh, a lot of people men asking me uh, how do you get a job on LinkedIn right so uh, believe me believe it or not so some a random people on LinkedIn that I'm connected reach out to me yeah uh, he is not a HR person, but he was working at LinkedIn, right, uh, 10 years ago, right? So he said that, oh, Lani, I've seen you around on LinkedIn. I was posting because I was a recruiter, right? So <laughs> I was on LinkedIn all the time, yeah, back then. Uh, and now also, uh, then, yeah, anyway, so they reached out to me and then say that, hey, uh, I think LinkedIn is hiring for Indonesian talent. Would you like to try? So I was like, of course, <laughs> right? So again, 50% of hires result from a personal connection, yeah? So even though I don't know him, but I know um, him through the LinkedIn network, okay? And I built my uh, credi credibility by posting there. And um, I was referred, right, by him. He's working at LinkedIn, okay? But to be honest, it's very easy if you just say that, oh, yeah, I know orang dalam, right? Inside man. <laughs> but it's very tough because for me, I have to try twice, right? I went to interview so many times, presentation, and then I didn't get it. Then I try again. So effort, yeah. Effort is still the, the main driver. Okay. So 
ever wonder uh, why it's important to have a personal branding, right? Uh, have you, uh, does any one of you here and in the Zoom uh, ever Google your name? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, so are you happy with the results? Happy? Good. No, oh, not really. Yeah, why? Not really, because um, I didn't really put, I didn't really use my LinkedIn to full, like I didn't put my accomplishments. So when I search my name, uh, it's only my LinkedIn profile and where I work at, only that. Yeah, limited information. Yes. Uh, okay, yeah. So I think, but that's a good step, right? Uh, it means like, you know, people around you, be it colleagues, business associate or clients before they met you they will google your name right uh, especially uh, hr gitu ya so hr is even worse <laughs> they will search your linkedin profile your google search your other social media platform so it's very 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 critical these days to have your online presence yeah now make sure the online presence also reflect who you are as a professionals Yeah, so Didi, uh, of course, you can have your fun profile in a social media platform, but professional profile has to, okay? So do you know if you're looking for a job currently who's uh, on the open opportunity, wants to move? Anyone? No? <laughs> It's okay. I always open. I'm always open. Even though I love LinkedIn, but I, I always open. You know, because opportunity, yeah, you never know. It will come in and yeah, if you missed it, then sad, yeah? Yeah, I'm lucky you. Uh, so yeah, every second, there are step second, yeah? 21 emails with job opportunity are sent by recruiters. 21 emails, right? So LinkedIn has this email tools where recruiter can just message you directly. Yeah, but they, do, they won't email the whole world, right? <laughs> they don't they don't have time for that so they will filter according to uh skills uh that they are looking for and then uh, when they see something they like then they will send the emails right so definitely if you don't if you have a profile uh do update it with the relevant uh keywords because you don't want to miss it right it's up to you if you want to take it or not <laughs> but at least we get the offer first Okay, and last year, uh, we helped almost 300,000 people in Indonesia get a job. So it's also why I'm really passionate about uh, my role because this, right? Now I'm making a difference. So, so now I want to share with you how to build a professional brand on LinkedIn, right? So first thing first, you need to... Uh, figure out your digital brand, right? So your digital brand, uh, you have TikTok, YouTube, uh, Instagram, that's your digital brand also. So we need to think about that as well. Yeah, so uh, three things on LinkedIn that you need to remember. So one is your profile, right? So I'm not going to go into details because you can Google it <laughs> or ask ChatGPT. <laughs> okay, so make sure that you have comprehensive profile. Uh, to describe who you are as a professional. That's important. Then number two is uh, networking on LinkedIn. So connect with the people that you want to connect with, uh, send meaningful messages. So don't anyhow click connect, right? So when you connect with someone, send one or two sentences why you want to connect, right? And then uh, the easiest uh, con The easiest to grow your network is from, from alumni, right? From your employees also, your colleagues. Yeah, that's how the easiest. Okay, then third is uh, knowledge, right? So LinkedIn is a knowledge marketplace as well. So every week we've seen uh, about uh, 9 billion uh, content every week being produced by members on LinkedIn, right? So that's knowledge marketplace. Right, so you can follow whoever want you 
want to follow aspiring leaders or content itself. So if you like social media strategies, you can follow that, right? So similar uh, like other social media platform, you can follow or you can follow the hashtag, yeah? So from there, you can share your knowledge to your net members as well. From there, then you can get uh, notice, right? So uh, don't just share, don't just having one profile and you stop, but connect to who you know and share what you know. So yeah, this is very easy, right? Okay, so if you want to do, if you want to dig deeper on information, uh, you can, uh, you can, you know, at LinkedIn, there's a search bar on the top. It's like a Google search. Yeah. So that's really magic. So you can uh, search anything and then LinkedIn will tell you uh, who do you want to search? People, jobs, courses, or what? Posts, articles, right? So they categorize it for you. So it's easier for you to, to learn. Right. And don't forget to set career interests, open to work. The open to work, you can put it hiding. So not public. Yeah. I'm always open to work, like I mentioned to you earlier. <laughs> but again, it's our choice, right? Whether we want to take or not. But this is good information. Um, we don't want to miss it. And follow companies that you're. Uh, like or inspired to work at yeah so the company pages normally have live pages so live pages is uh, normally the culture of the company the people yeah so you can check it out as well so before applying to any jobs make sure that we do the research because the information is all there okay so if you want to know uh, top companies LinkedIn produce uh, top companies every year, right? So I can take a look there from banking, FMCG, uh, banking, FMCG, okay, mostly there. <laughs> yeah, e-commerce, right? And startup, yeah. So this is um, the way that we select top companies is by looking at their behavior on LinkedIn as a company, right? So whether they hire diverse talent, uh, whether they are sustainable, you know, so all, all this reading from just the data. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how you can also um, be different. Um, so there is this new feature called uh, demonstrate your skills. Yeah, so if you go to the job tab at the top and then on the left hand side, you'll see demonstrate skills. So once you fill out these questions or tech assessment. Yeah, so um, tadi kan udah lihat ya, the, the, the challenges, eh, how we can actually demonstrate our skills and you can put it in your profile. What is the benefit, right? So looking at the data, uh, people who has skills, demonstrate skills on their profile, they're more, have stronger network, 18%. Uh, easier to be found. Five, five times easier to be found and 19% faster to get a job, right? So this is a uh, real data, yeah, uh, friends. <laughs> yeah, so that's, therefore, we can also take a look at the learning data. What is currently Indonesian uh, members on LinkedIn learning? Because on LinkedIn, you can also have access to courses. Yeah, that is why... Uh, back to our vision again, right? We want to help professional so they can be productive and successful. Uh, so therefore, we, we need to give them a platform for them to learn, right? So this is the LinkedIn learning platform. We can see the behavior. Uh, so most of the behavior from uh, before pandemic to the pandemic, uh, proposed pandemic. Yeah, so most of the people are learning uh, soft skills, which is the power skills that I mentioned to you and uh, digital digital skills, okay? So it's very, very, um, in, it's very exciting for us uh, and for me itself to uh, possibly to partner with IPMI so we can empower all, all of you, the students, the lecturers, 
with courses that are relevant in the market, right? So you can uh, learn so many, so many uh, stuff, so many skills from uh, digital literacy, soft skills, and also entrepreneur skills. Yeah, just to name a few, right? So, so excited. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, okay? And also, if in Bahasa, I know that you, you are all fluent in English, but yeah, if you're thinking uh, if it's too full in English, you might be uh, uh, not really inclined to, but don't worry, there is a Bahasa subtitle. Um, and then, why actually the courses on LinkedIn is actually um, led by top subject matter experts all around the world, right? So it's industry expert. Uh, we we have we have a, we updated the courses every week, right? Fifty to sixty courses every week. Because why? Because we see the, the movement of skills are really fast, right? So our team in the U.S. Uh, who handle all this content creation uh, to to LinkedIn Learning, yeah, have intense people, yeah, a lot of. Uh, researchers to research what type of skills that are trending right now in the world. And then after that, they will reach out to the subject matter expert all over the world to invite them to, uh, to our studio in the US. Yeah, so that's why it's uh, expert flat and high standard. Okay, so uh, definitely you, we all are leaders, right? So as leaders, we want to learn what is the best uh, skills to uh, implement, especially in the changing uh, economic landscape. So there's so many uh, type of leading through challenges, courses, inclusive leadership, and also new managers. So you inspire aspiring to be managers, and you're scared, right? So don't worry, there's a lot of courses uh, on that as well, okay? And of course, the in-demand skills right now, generative AI, responsible AI, ethical AI, right? So which we cannot keep up, right? So uh, that's why we are committed to make sure that every courses are relevant and we already vet through the, uh, the content source. So you can learn with a piece of mind, okay? Yeah, so that's it. So in order for you, for us, to be powerful, to be successful, we need to invest, right? Like little bonsai here. <laughs> when you invest a little bit, little bit, then yeah, you will definitely be successful. Yeah, so there is no uh, shortcut, but there is an exciting journey ahead of us. So yeah, thank you so much for listening. And yeah, this is Q&A session. Thank you, Miss Le Miss Lenny, for the presentation that you have delivered it is incredible how one platform can help millions of people can help the industries to connect with other industries and educations as well well before i pass the q and a session to the audiences i would like to uh, i would like to ask a question for myself um you, you said you mentioned that um there are top 10 skills that uh, that are in demand and also uh, from LinkedIn they also have platform courses I mean the tools on LinkedIn uh, what I what I want to ask is that uh, what are some of the key features or the tools on LinkedIn that uh, the individuals have to be aware first to enhance their career developments and maybe you can um, tell a bit more about the course itself and LinkedIn so many people can realize and can you know uh, can start using the um, using the courses on LinkedIn yeah sure thank you Mr. for the question yeah so definitely um, it's coming back to ourselves Right. So, what is your purpose? Right. The why first. So, once you have the why, then it's easier for you to use the tools. LinkedIn is just tools, right? So, to empower that put empower you to be amazing person. 
So uh, again, finding why, and then you can search um, the, the click on the search bar at the top. Can earlier, what do you want to learn or what do you want to know? Like generative AI, for example, just type it there, and then you can find like posts about it. You can find courses even about it. If you want to learn, you can just click the courses. So the courses on LinkedIn, uh, there's a free one, there's a paid one, right? So uh, we will give you uh, a few minutes because it's all uh, short courses, right? Like uh, short video, my, my micro learning. You'll be able to, to, uh, to learn like two minutes, three minutes about that specific uh, um, topic as well. Yeah, so that's how you can learn on the platform. Is that answering the questions? Okay, I think that helps. And another question is that uh, from your background, IT to recruitment to sales and where you are right now, uh, can you tell us maybe the tips or tricks like some of the practical steps or strategies that uh, we can learn from you to take the ownership to for the career development? I think uh, for me, I think is uh, the willingness not to fail. <laughs> uh, for me, I, I, I'm very competitive, so I need to prove myself, right? So I can do this, you know? So every single uh, obstacle, I just, you know, uh, think, think that I can do it because I always, you know, my, my mom always telling me that you only have uh, opportunity, uh, yeah, not a lot, right? Two times you can only get a chance once, right? So, for example, uh, I remember this because when I was uh, in university, I was almost get kicked out, kicked out of school. <laughs> Yeah, so, and then because it was yeah, computer science, right? Oh, I did computer science, and then uh, I really don't like the, the study, the lecture, I really cannot understand it. Uh, so I failed so many subjects in computer science um, because I didn't make an effort anyway back then. And then my mom was like, oh, because she's the one that, paying everything right so she she sold her house so she make a lot of uh sacrifices and then uh my mom said like oh you, you know you're very lucky right you should be grateful um uh, nobody can get this opportunity or chance so yeah that's always in my mind so every time i uh, struggling i remember that so i'll just like okay i want to be successful i can do this um but every time i change company i will tell myself like okay uh why why i'm not happy here right uh so what uh, lesson i can learn uh so i put pro and cons then i move again after doing the pro and cons then making me sure that why i want to leave the company not just because of salary or uh, title you know, because it's not gonna end so it's just because of it. Yeah, so that's the, the story maybe. <laughs> Hopefully helped. <laughs> Long. <laughs> yes. Um thank you, Miss Lenny. And maybe a question or two from the audiences here. Maybe some of you would like to ask. Okay, a uh, question first from Professor Aman. Miss Lenny, also the audience, what do you think about the advancement of AI affecting the job opportunity and how LinkedIn will capitalize the AI towards its advantages for better quality of human life and their prosperity? Very good question. <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Yeah, it's very tricky as well because uh, AI is a is an old technology, right? But now we have a generative AI, right? So which is the uh, more uh, faster and uh, 
you know, they have data as well. So luckily, um, LinkedIn as a company, we are invested in innovation a lot, right? So uh, we've been using AI technology since 2007. Uh, now we are embedded the AI technology to, our, to every features. So uh, maybe this is not all out yet, but there yeah, is a, a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to post on LinkedIn, you go to post section and then the generative AI will pop up. Like uh, they'll say that, okay, what do you want to say? Give me pointers, I'll, give, I'll write to your post. Yeah, it's already there, right? And uh, Gen A, a generative AI is very powerful. So because of that, we have implemented uh, every employees to learn about responsible AI, right? Even though I'm not in the tech company, but I still need to learn uh, responsible AI. So this is to make sure that uh, we don't put biased data on the platform and we can monitor uh, the AI uh, algorithm um, in, in that uh, right? no biases it's inclusive and so on and so forth. So I think it's really important for every company to understand what is uh, responsible AI, what is um, ethical AI, and how our company can shape the policy of AI in the workplace, or in the workspace, or place, sorry, workplace. <laughs> yeah, because you can avoid it, right? I use ChatGPT all the time <laughs> to write my post, to write my email message. All right, so you can um, say no to your employees or students. Don't use, you know, just not, 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 no such thing. But how we can empower them to use it uh, meaningfully, wisely. Yeah, so I think it's going to change the way uh, people apply to jobs, the way recruiter uh, find uh, candidates. There's a lot of article about it already. Yeah. Thank you for the question. I hope that answer. <laughs> Yes, there are so many pro and contra in the AI, but it is important for us to show the recruiters to help give awareness to some people to take responsibility of how using AI responsibly. Okay, next question is from Ningsi Salen. Okay. Are there any specific LinkedIn groups or communities that individuals can join? To connect with like-minded professionals and further their career development? Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> so there's so many groups uh, on LinkedIn. You can also search the search bar just now when I mentioned search bar. And then if you want to search uh, what's the topic? Cybersecurity, for example. It will show group in cybersecurity and you could choose whether you want to join a group or not. Yeah, so it's global, global group. All right. And maybe from the audiences here, do you have any questions? Okay, Miss Leah. Would you like to ask? Good afternoon, uh, Malini. Thank you for uh, your presence at our campus. Very, very delighted for me. Um, if I may ask your suggestion, your best advice to students, to university students, what they can prepare. So, therefore, uh, they will have kind of maybe not sophisticated, but maybe sufficient portfolio at their LinkedIn. What should they better do? What should they, they try to develop something from there? I mean, during their uh, study journey. Thank you for the question. This is for fresh graduates, like bachelor. So, oh, okay, okay, yeah. So I uh, got a lot of questions from the students also <laughs> on this, yeah. So uh, LinkedIn can be daunting, right? For students who doesn't have experience uh, so they may not to feel anything on LinkedIn but to be honest um, I've seen a lot of students are very 
creative, right? They said like, okay, I don't have experience, but I have uh, skills, right? So for example, they can create their CV in TikTok, you know, or they can create a beautiful uh, photos or videos and then they post it on LinkedIn. So these are the things that you can showcase. Right. So uh, if you don't have anything or uh, experience, I'm sure that you have something. So those uh, those skills you can show. Right. And uh, share your passion or your interest. Right. So passion is the overused words, I would say. But I felt that every one of us have interest. Right. So I'm interested in. Uh, online shopping is still an interest, <laughs> right? So how we can um, switch our mindset to to know what skills to be good in online shopping, for example. Yeah, so those skills we can highlight uh, and we can take courses. And then after taking courses, what do you feel? Like, do you want to do a uh, full, uh, full in-depth uh, topic on that course or what? Right, because as a student, uh, when I was a student last time, there was not a lot of choices. Right, uh, internet wasn't really good back then, but we had internet, but not a lot of information on the internet. Right, but for now, it's like every information is everywhere. Right, so it's good to just try, 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 and then after trying, why you don't like, why you like, yeah. So those things are uh, valuable, I guess, to to share. Yeah, hope that answer. Thank you. Okay, maybe another one is two, but can it? So good time. Okay, uh, thank you uh, for the presentation. Uh, maybe my my question. Uh, no, I don't know if it's question or. Advice to the students uh, because of this um, advance in uh, IT, like chat GPT and everything. Uh, uh, I find myself uh, people that I interview is so much uh, different than what we found from the. Uh, and uh, my advice is for the students is you can you can sell yourself with so many solutions, but you have to be prepared when you are when you are asking. Especially during the pandemic, uh, they find that uh, so many new students and they take just graduated are uh, really of the spec. But a bit disappointed. I found that the GPA whatever is 3.8, 3.9. Because of the online or, or uh, too many, too, uh, they learn, they spend so many uh, hours on online, uh, they, are, they, they have not found the real, uh, real uh, experience. So what we, what we did is among the best that we got is to train them again. Train them, then train them. But uh, for a company to to spend that, you know, effort is uh, is costly. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how how maybe uh, you can uh, can you bridge that uh, uh, gap through your 
because you said your 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 net worth is your net worth, right? So how can you bridge that? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, uh, it's a very valid, valid concern. I think every single companies are thinking about this, right? The CV looks good, but when it comes to interview, it's not. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, tools out there as well to um, help the hiring manager. So, for example, like video, uh, every interview is as rather than ask them to come down first now we have a lot first is phone interview then video interview then if it's really really good then we meet face to face so i think that's could help uh shorten our the uh, time to hire right and for us i think the technology itself is to allows you to see which are the um profile that have demonstrated their skills right so if they put like the skills are this and this and then they have the badges then 100 they can do that skills yeah and then you can see their network so if you're not uh, if the candidate only have one connection <laughs> then maybe a bit worrisome <laughs> right so that's why connection matters right so who knows that from your connection you know but like oh actually i know uh the common friends right we call it yeah common connection then you can do um uh, in informal uh what do you call it informal reference yeah so actually as a hr uh, our tool is designed for that so we can see who is um open to opportunity who can and also can see who has connection in your company so it's like a, can be validated with your uh, people you know because at the end of the day uh, according to research also um, most of people get hired through connection right referral referral right orang dalam yeah the inside man <laughs> woman yeah inside people yeah so it is i got the best people not from the connection oh that's good even better <laughs> from where just from the job street or on the bike Oh, job job apply yeah, job, job apply. application they're not uh, has has nothing to do with the orang dalam but yeah that's, that's what we got yeah, yeah of course of course application uh definitely one of the source right but uh we we want to make sure that referral also good if uh most of the companies the bigger companies uh, they they do like thirty percent referral, twenty percent uh, external, right? So every companies are different. Yeah, but glad that you found a good com uh, candidate. Pa. <laughs> eh, yes, Ibu. Uh, okay. Um, actually, I want to ask. Uh, oh. Inside this classroom, who has LinkedIn account? Really, raise your hands, all of you. Okay, almost all, but there are still none. Uh, Buleni, I just like, can I ask you like for five minutes to really persuade all here in the in the in the room to have a LinkedIn account? Really, in just five minutes, what would you say? I, I was just saying like why they don't have first. <laughs> I ask first. You have the <laughs> no, yeah. No, I do. Yeah, I wonder. That's your learning in the classes. No, I. Yeah, I think I'm so butabi. Kita connected, no. <laughs> just, just say. Yeah. I mean, um, look, um, you know, you need to mm. be. It's just that um, I find that LinkedIn is very uh, ben it really benefits mm. um me as someone from IPMI. Yeah. yeah, I really get the name IPMI promoted. That's that's for me, yeah. but I think for a lot of people here, I'm not saying that you have, look, you have values that you can create for yourself. You have values that you can create for yourself if you have LinkedIn. I probably think that LinkedIn is just one among the very, well, from all the social medias that we have that really puts you in a professional position. And it's not just for you to work for IPMI, although I love to have all of you always work for IPMI, but is the value that you create for yourself after IPMI? You know, that's 
probably why we need to have that uh, LinkedIn account. Yeah, I'm not promoting Yulo, but it's because I do believe that we do you can won't. add value here, Bulenia. Yeah. Is, is that true, Bu? I agree 100%, 100%. Just now I mentioned uh, during my presentation how I land my dream job on link through LinkedIn, <laughs> right? So there's a lot of cases like for now, my professional is, my profession is sales, right? So I do um, uh, create pipeline from where? From LinkedIn. Because otherwise, dari mana lagi? From where? Uh, apa? Yellow pages? Nah. <laughs> Right, can gak mungkin ya, cannot yeah. So uh, definitely, it will change uh, your life I, as it changed mine, and uh, definitely you can connect with uh, people not just only your community but global community, right? So opportunity also wider, not only in Jakarta or Surabaya, but who knows? You can have a job in Singapore, in uh, Vietnam, in Malaysia, right? In US, and the the sky's limit. Is the sky is not even the limit. <laughs> okay, another thing, Bu Lenny. So now that we I have promoted LinkedIn for to, to everyone, I, I'm t asking you a question about how uh, if we can collaborate better with LinkedIn. Uh, you mentioned that if we are a LinkedIn member of LinkedIn Learning, that we have access to these courses. Okay. Who are teaching these courses? So uh, for uh, earlier I mentioned, we are very strict on the content uh, on LinkedIn learning. So we have uh, a whole big team that vet through all the uh, subject matter experts, the instructors. So the instructors are real people, real uh, profession all over the world uh, that uh, indicate themselves to be the expert. Right, so the the team will reach out to them, and they need to uh, pass certain level of tests, uh, and we do deep uh, background checks if they're really true that they're the top uh, of that subject matter expert. Yeah, so total, I think we have uh, I think five thousand uh, and counting uh, lecture, not lecturer, sorry, instructors. So let's say if you want to learn Azure or Open AI, right? You'll get the uh, instructor from there. Yeah, from Microsoft. You know. So there is an opportunity that it me lecturers can become LinkedIn instructors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we open to anyone actually. So anyone can mm. uh, apply to be instructor. So we have the process. So when you apply, yeah. later they come back, uh, oh, you need to blah, blah, blah. Then, yeah, because we want to make sure that it's an equal, equitable platform for, for Perhaps everyone. Perhaps we can have a collaboration there, uh, Butami. Dan Pak Aman is listening also in this uh, <laughs> in this power talk, ya, Pak Aman. Ya. We can uh, apply, request our faculty members to perhaps, yeah. you can give perhaps facilitate uh, yeah, uh, make it easy for the, our faculty members. You know, if we mm -hmm. have to do it up by ourselves personally, I'm sure many faculty members don't have the time to do it. But if we have a collaboration with LinkedIn yes. and you can facilitate that process, that would be very good, uh, Buleni. Yeah, I mean, I hear you. There's a lot of uh, university also requesting that. <laughs> but for a uh, facilitator, is individual. So... Mm -hmm they will see you as an individual, not an entity. Okay. Yeah, so that's why uh, I, there's a lot also, like, for example, if you're a lecturer in other comp other university, they'll treat you the same, with whether you're from uh, Indonesia, US, or whatever, right? So we want to make sure it's standardized and uh, not biased <laughs> to see so LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is, is that, yeah. Buliza, but we'll, sorry, we'll think about it. Yeah. Uh, before coming to Buliza, uh, there was actually, I'm sorry, there was actually one guest. Um, she's from an export company. Uh, she wanted to ask question, but oh, even yes. so, right in Bahasa Indonesia. Yeah, I'm sorry, excuse me, Miss Lisa, if we can have her first. Ibu, gak apa-apa kalau dengan Bahasa Indonesia, gak apa-apa. Boleh, aku ngerti. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, saya terima kasih banyak ya uh, atas kesempatan yang diberikan kepada saya. Uh, saya sebenarnya datang ke sini mewakili anak saya kebetulan baru masuk IPMI, Bu. 
Oh, congrats. Iya. Cuman karena saya lihat materinya uh, link ini ya, jadi saya tertarik. Kebetulan uh, saya lagi merintis perusahaan ekspor uh, saat ini dan uh, saya juga sebagai ketua UMKM. Jadi kebetulan tadi kan disinggung UMKM ya. Jadi pertanyaan saya ada dua. Uh, yang pertama, uh, bagaimana link ini bisa membantu kita untuk mendapatkan buyer bagi produk-produk kita ya. Uh, yang kedua, uh, saya sebagai ketua UMKM itu uh, sejauh mana nih atau bagaimana caranya ini, ini membantu kami penggerak UMKM untuk memasarkan produk-produk kita di dunia internasional. Dan ya, terima kasih. Iya, yeah, thank you. Nama, iya, yeah. nama siapa? Andi. Ya, yeah, thank you for the question. Ya, yeah. so um, ya yeah, this is actually why we want to to help ya yeah. kita kan nggak uh, hanya mau bantu individual tapi kita juga mau bantu companies right so of course meet us UMKM is the one that drive the economy juga kan di sini uh, eventually kalau untuk uh, buying tau jualan gitu ya Bu ya. So kalau di LinkedIn uh, jualan itu seperti uh, soft selling gitu. You can be hard selling than LinkedIn. Itu rule number one, right? So they want to see the value. What is your value? Uh, but for UMKM, I know that you're not like a big company yang punya social media team banyak gitu ya. Jadi susah kan? Ya, yeah, I can understand. So uh, start with yourself. Start with your personal branding. Because you are the owner, right? You are the owner of the company. Uh, they will trust the owner, right? So start with uh, finding, defining who you are, uh, why you believe that your company is uh, impacting others. Then there is situ you can uh, share also like uh, you are selling uh, specific sellingnya apa gitu. So some one example is um, my good friend who I met on LinkedIn. Right, so we actually met the webinar, one of the webinar in 2020. So I don't know whether you know Budi Komala. So Budi Komala is actually a photographer, right? So work uh, sendiri ya berarti ya. Dia photographer headshot di LinkedIn, right? So when he uh, attended my class uh, 2020, um, he said to me he practiced all the tips that I shared. Right, so he posts regularly. So every post itu cuman biasanya cuman dua, cuman aku yang like gitu. <laughs> Terus sudah enam bulan yang like bisa seribuan. Right, consistency gitu. But he doesn't post tentang fotografer uh, apa fotonya grafernya dia. Dia post tentang storynya dia. Uh, Terus at the end, currently they, he always post how to um, create exciting content di LinkedIn. Gitu. So it's always try and error. What are the content that you can post? But true, it has to be true to your interests, your passion. Yeah. And then because of that, he got so many uh, customer. Yeah. <laughs> Dari pas banget kan platformnya LinkedIn. Terus dia juga jadi banyak customer. Uh, then he told me like during the pandemic, yang drive drive uh, revenue-nya itu dari dari LinkedIn. Gitu. So, ya bisa, bisa dicoba sih, ya uh, Bu, I cannot uh, guarantee, of course, <laughs> tapi ada nih marketnya, itu satu uh, positioning. Yang kedua adalah kita bisa building um, siapa sih orang yang biasanya, uh, perf, uh, biasanya beli produk kita, siapa. Terus udah itu kamu bisa creating um, persona, And then you reach out to them satu-satu. Connection. Personal connection. Gitu. So dari situ juga bisa. Dan dari situ uh, kamu bisa uh, bikin um, network ya. Trusted network. We call this. Ya udah. Terus dari situ dia pasti akan uh, trust lah ya. Kalau you share or there's promo nih. Ada, ada ini itu. Ya, more likely they will re- react to that sih. Tapi again LinkedIn is a professional platform you can uh, kontennya juga lebih uh, valuable gitu ya ke yang baca dan 
kalau kamu mau jualan kamu bisa di website yang lain kan kamu tinggal kasih link ya gitu oh nih ya link ke Shopee atau ke uh, manapun gitu e-commerce platform yang lain gitu jadi mereka juga bisa uh, uh, purchase di situ gitu tapi kita mesti build trust trustnya dulu sih ya yeah. and di LinkedIn you can create the company page uh, kan company page itu gratis juga dan kamu bisa taruh uh, information about company di situ juga Yeah, hope that answer. Thank you. Uh, maybe like a simple question, yeah, Bu, yeah. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Yeah, uh, for me, maybe for the lecturers, um, would it be like any chance to invite the speakers coming in to our classes? Mm. Like maybe it's like the continuation from Burifas question. Mm. Uh, my question was to ask whether we can invite your facilitator. Uh, as we can see on the features, then it's just like a one-way communication, right? Mm. So can we invite uh, the speaker that has spoken at LinkedIn to our classes as well? Yeah, so uh, for the speaker, as for the... Sorry, oh. <laughs> for the instructors, actually, they are very open. You know, you can reach out to them and, um, yeah, tanya ya. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, no worries. Uh, yeah, jadi, what I mean is, jadi, instructor kita itu di platform is is uh, professional by themselves. So they don't have contract with us right so they don't work for linkedin um but every videos that being watched we need to pay mereka <laughs> so that's the arrangement so you can reach out to them uh if you feel like oh this is really good con the content and arrange uh a session directly oh, it's possible okay. So yeah. through LinkedIn, so if we have like the collaboration, right? So can we have the chance like that, Bu? Yeah, for, for us, we don't have uh, instructors. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we don't own the instructors. Instructors is uh, uh, the the uh, real profession. Pros oh, okay. professor. Jadi maybe it's like, for example, uh, if you want to learn about Azure, right? So there's this chief engineer in Microsoft who... Uh, the instructor. Yeah. Yeah, like like contributors. Yeah, instructors. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bu. Yeah, but there is a on a live session. Yeah, every every day there's live session webinar where you can join. Uh, anyone can join. Then you can ask question immediate immediately there, right? So. Uh, that's one. And how you can interact also. We have a live forum, like a world uh, global forum, where you can ask questions and then anyone in the world can answer your questions. Yeah. Some, some, uh, some. All right, we will have one more question in the room yeah. and then also one last question in the Zoom. Okay, please, Kaka in white dress. Hello, Miss Lani. Can you hear my voice? Yes. Hello. Okay, my name is Nimas. I'm from Every. I want to ask something related to the uh, alumni community in LinkedIn because I think if we have alumni community in LinkedIn, it will be very beneficial. And my question is like, how to set up community, uh, an alumni community and how to make uh, the best because I think there's a lot of it means alumni in yeah. LinkedIn, but there's no uh, community yet. And we want to see where they're going. Uh, we want to update. We want to be updated about their jobs because if we ask one by one, I think it will be very um, complicated. If we see on LinkedIn, it's, it's fast and easy. Thank you for the question. Yeah, really, uh, 
uh, very good, very good. So alumni community is very important. Uh, so I'm so happy that you asked this question because semua uh, university also like thinking about this, right? Uh, then what we can do is there's two things. One is you can create a group just for alumni and LinkedIn uh, group is free. But if but you know, um, automatically if you go to it me page you will see an alumni uh, tab there it's already there right however it's just a, a tab where you can see everyone but everyone is all over the place it's it's not uh, in one central location right you want to be central location so you can engage the alumni right so uh, creating a group is important um, easiest lah yeah, but still you need to invite them to the group, get fun. You know, you still have a facilitator in the group, right? So you still invest uh, there. And this the the third to, uh, the second one is asking why. Why do you want to have this community, right? So if you want to be uh, a community where you want to add value more to them, then the group is one, but if you want to create community because you want to track where they are, right? Like a uh, like a tracer studies, then um, it, there there is a better way rather than that, right? Because as I mentioned, LinkedIn is a data platform. We know where everyone in the world is, right? So we do have specific special tools for that to map and uh, kepo in <laughs> semua orang. Yeah. So that's, uh, hope that answer your question. Uh, yeah, that answers my question. But I have, no, okay. Do we, do we still have time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a, I have a quick question. Uh, but how do you uh, keep the data privacy of mm. the LinkedIn number? Because I was uh, on LinkedIn since uh, day our phone numbers and emails and etc. But how do you uh, mm. keep the data privacy of your uh, number? Yeah, um, that also correlates with the question from Zoom from oh, okay. Pamar Jaldi. He was asking also how safe are the individual personal information that we include in our profile? Can it be misused? Yeah. Thank yeah, you, yeah, this Yimas, is super, for the question. Uh, important question. So, uh, LinkedIn number one value is member first, and uh, we want to uh, adhere to all the uh, privacy guidelines, right? So, uh, especially the GDPR, uh, we comply hundred percent to GDPR. So, whatever that you put the profile personal data is not gonna be uh, public unless you put it public right so uh, go to settings and make sure that you know what information you put on public yeah so it's very very critical in every platform we should do done that yeah uh, so but some people especially fresh graduates yeah uh, students they put everything even the address don't put address <laughs> yeah 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 can. yeah but yeah number one is uh privacy uh kita very 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 uh um uh, priority business priority itu number one yeah privacy even myself i work at linkedin i cannot go uh find your information any information of any one of us here yeah i cannot i don't have the rights so uh because only certain uh, team that managing uh, customer issues, then they will have the rights. Yeah. But yeah. So if anyone tell you, uh, apa, oh, get your number from LinkedIn and then you check it's private, bohong. <laughs> yeah. And, but we need to check first. Yeah. We need to check due diligence first. Is it public or not? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Ms. Lani, and thank you, everyone, for the fruitful, active, and engaging discussion. Um, unfortunately, we have to close the discussion as it's already um, in our limited yeah. time. 
But before we close, I would like to give a few summaries from today's discussion. So as a trustworthy and a safe platform, maybe the biggest platform in the world for job opportunity in um, that is LinkedIn, this platform is not only for job opportunity, but can make a platform to help individuals improve their skills and open to opportunity to coaching, mentorships, cultivating networks. And also the positive side that uh, LinkedIn has updated and dynamic data to keep update of the profiles and what the world needs in the business trends. And not only helping individuals, but also, but LinkedIn also helps to drive companies' economies as well. It's important to define who you are, what is your targeted market, and most importantly, consistency. Uh, from your from making a journey post, uh, tips and tricks, you can build your audiences and make them know your page later, and you can then make your personal connections. And then for taking ownerships of your career development, first, you have to be proactive. You have to learn new skills, take on challenging projects, and advance your, your career goals. And um, make an effort or take an initiative. You have to make a personal brand, branding so recruiters can see who you are. Uh, and you have to make yourself be noticed and stay relevant with the uh, with the works that you are interested in and seek knowledge and do research you have to dig deeper to the relevant work you are interested in and follow the company's uh, uh, side of enhance your skills um, and what else okay oh and cultivate your network it is very in important to build relationship with colleagues, mentors, and industry professionals to gain insight, advice, and potential job opportunities. So uh, to close the summary as well, if you want to get a job, don't wait for opportunities to get you, but you get that opportunity. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and Everyone, there are audiences from offline and online participants. If you are curious about IPMI International Business School, please visit ipmi.ac.id. And if you would like to watch our previous Power Talk event, please visit our YouTube at IPMI Campus. We hope you enjoy the forum, ladies and gentlemen. And next, we would like to have a to give you a token of appreciation to our distinguished speaker, Ms. Lani Wijaya. And sure. we would like to have Butami and Pa Emil to please come to the floor and we are very thankful, Ms. Lani Wijaya. It is such an honor. Okay. Once again, please applause to our distinguished guest speaker. All right, everyone. Um, now we will have a photo session. <laughs> and please, the people on the Zoom, uh, do not exit first. We will have a photo session. Please open your camera. And let's gather, let's gather in the middle. The audience is here. Is it showing? Okay, we can see. We can see everyone, the online participant, make sure you don't block it. Is it blocking? Oh, it's okay. Okay. One. Okay, one, two, three, cheese. Okay, once, once more. One, two, three. Okay, let's say if me, yeah, on the count of three. One, two, three, if me. Okay. Okay. Everyone, 
we finally come to the end of the event. Thank you very much for your participation in this program. We hope you found this event informative and useful. After this, we allow you to build network for the people in the room. Thank you for participating, the online participants. We hope to see you at our next forum. Stay safe and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Pak Bambang Busidro, Prof. Aman, Mbak Arini, Ningsi.